Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and this is a, a short a teaching called uh, Five Things You See Doing Personal Prophecy. I uh, have been doing uh, personal prophecies for people for uh, at least 20 years, and I have uh, started doing personal prophecies via email to people's request I used to do them for free. Now um, I do them for a $30 donation. But uh, um, I really enjoy uh, doing them. And these are five things you see uh, doing personal prophecy. Um, number one, uh, in each uh, personal prophecy I do, I get to see uh, some of the person's personality. Um, the Holy Spirit uh, reveals uh, character traits of the person uh, that I'm doing the personal prophecy for. And I'll mention them as words of knowledge uh, in the prophecy. Just letting the person know via the Holy Spirit that God knows them and God sees them and uh, God is speaking about them. And uh, that, that'll be character traits of uh, the person I'm doing the personal prophecy for. The second point is uh, you'll see a person's potential um, in the course of uh, doing a personal prophecy, you can see uh, the person uh, that you're doing the prophecy for, you can see their potential uh, in Christ. You see their potential in life and God can reveal that to you um, in the course of uh, doing a personal prophecy. Um, uh, point number three is you hear what God wants them to know. Uh, God will speak to a person during a personal prophecy and you're able to hear what God wants them to know. Um, and uh, that's different for every person. I did a prophecy a couple of days ago where uh, Jesus just poured out his love on the person and expressed in many ways uh, the way he loves the person and uh, it elicited uh, a really good response uh, from the person the person wept uh, when they heard uh, the prophecy uh, it uh, so blessed them uh, to hear that they were so loved by Jesus and sometimes that's all we need to hear we don't need to hear anything insightful we just need to hear that god loves us um, and so uh, jesus will express his love uh, to people uh, during the course of doing a personal prophecy um, yes point number four is you see what god wants them to do um, many times uh, in personal prophecies I'll uh, give a person an assignment, uh, uh, one uh, person today that I prophesied over, uh, God wants them to be an intercessor. Uh, and uh, he's already been leading them to intercede for people, but he wanted to make it official with the person that he wants to use them as an intercessor. And that's important information to know uh, as a person that God wants to use you as an intercessor. Um, and, uh, and I was able to deliver that in the course of a personal prophecy. Um, point number five is you sometimes hear the person's future. Um, Oftentimes, uh, God will talk about renewing a person or bringing them to a period of refreshment. 
and that'll be something for the future, for their immediate future. But sometimes uh, God will speak about a person's destiny and prophesy over their future. And uh, this is, uh, I want to make a point, this isn't always the case with personal prophecy. Uh, some people think um, that personal prophecy is all about um, prophesying over a person's future. I find uh, most often it's a whole lot more beneficial for a person just to hear that God loves them um, and the ways uh, that God loves them and the reasons why God loves them. I find uh, connecting with a person in the day-to-day -day current uh, life that they're living is uh, a whole lot more beneficial and practical uh, for people rather than hearing about their future. But sometimes in prophecy, I'll reveal a person's future. So there are five uh, points, uh, five things you'll see doing personal prophecy. And I hope uh, you can request a personal prophecy of me uh, uh, at some time so I can exercise these five things with you. God bless.